KDKH Sports with Logan Whaley. Arkansas State and Old Dominion have played in two games on the opposite ends of the spectrum on the diamond. Game one was a slugfest with 33 combined runs. Game two, just three runs, all by the Monarchs as the Red Wolves dropped each of the first two games. So what will game three bring? Red Wolves looking to get back in the win column. The Monarchs looking for the sweep. It was a continuation of game two early. A pitcher's duel. Landon Birch gets the strikeout just Five combined hits between the two teams through five, all tied at two. But A-State has them loaded in the bottom of the six. Alan Greer at the dish hits this to deep center. That's going to be caught on the run, but check this out. Not one, but two runs will score on the sack fly. Great hustle by Braden Kasky to beat the throw from second. And the Red Wolves lead it four to two. A-State looking for more. Next batter, Valley View alum Will French drives this to left center. One run scores a two RBI day for French and a state leads five to two. The home team not done yet. After Blake Burris walks, Brandon Hager will bring home French. That's another run scoring single on the Red Wolves strike for four in the inning. ODU gets one back in the eighth, but a state would blow it open in the bottom half. Two on for Hager once more barrels it off the left field wall for an RBI double. But after back to back hit by pitches scores another base is loaded for cross jumper. The JHS alum jumps all over that one. It clears the left center field fence for a grand slam and Arkansas State avoids the sweep. They win it 12 to 4. Brandon Hager and Braden Kasky combined for six hits, three RBIs and three doubles today. I think the turning point in the game, the momentum shifted on Braden Kasky's uh, tag up from second base, able to score on a sack fly, two runs. That was a big deal. It kind of shifted everything in our dugout. Uh, and then we took advantage of some things in the, in, the la in the eighth inning, and then we got the big grand slam, which really propelled us. So uh, just really proud of our guys. You know, it's, it's very difficult. This league is so good um from top to bottom and you know game one to game two to game three and you really have to separate it uh, and you can't have any carryover um, and our guys have are learning that process and uh, just really proud of them to be able to get come out today and play well